Welcome to the Coupler IO Academy, where industry experts share tips and tricks on working with data. In this video, we teach you how to use the split function in Google Sheets. Hi there, my name's Annie. When working with data, you'll often want to separate text strings into multiple cells. This can help you understand your data better and simplify its processing. Luckily, Google Sheets has a function called split that was created specifically for this purpose. In the next few minutes, I'll tell you everything you need to know to use the split function efficiently. And if you're after splitting Google Sheets into multiple sheets, I'll have something for you towards the end of this video. So let's get to it and look at the syntax. The split function has four parameters, the first two of which are mandatory. First is a text string that you want to split. Next is a delimiter. It's a character or a group of characters that you want to split on. The optional characters determine whether the data should be split by each delimiter individually and how the function should handle empty values should they appear as an output. In this Google Sheets split function tutorial, I'll work with this uh, slightly messed up data set representing the new clients I acquired through my advertising campaigns. When clients sign up, my system records their data in a way shown in column A. To perform some analysis, for example, to analyze which platform brings in the most traffic, I need to split these strings into separate columns. So I'll type in the split function and choose A2 as the string to process. Next, a delimiter. In my case, data is split by semicolons. So I'll use this character in my formula. Note that the delimiter you split the data on are never returned in the function results. Only these two parameters are required. So let's run this function and here you go. The data was nicely split into four cells, just as I expected. Mr. Smith also had some more data imported about his country of origin. To be able to aggregate data from different countries, I need to run a Google Sheets split function on this data as well. Here, you'll notice that the country itself is preceded by an underscore character and a space. So a natural thing to do would be to use these two characters as a delimiter. Splitting by just an underscore would result in an empty space in front of the country name. I ran the formula, but the result wasn't exactly what I expected. United States was split into two separate cells because by default, the split formula in the Google Sheets splits data by each delimiter separately. Here, it splits data by an underscore and also by a space. You can control this behavior by setting the third parameter of the function. The default value is true, and you just saw how it works on the screen. Setting false here, however, tells the split function to only split on the entire delimiter rather than each character individually. Let's run it. Ah, and yes, it worked perfectly. And what if you want to get just the country without the country word in the first cell? For that, you can wrap the split function in a query function, treating the results of a split as a data range. As a query, select only the second column that contains countries. If you're new to query or would like to brush up on your knowledge, be sure to check out our query tutorial that you can find in the corner of your screen. Now let's continue with the cleanup. The record for Miss Kate is a bit problematic because in one place it contains three semicolons in a row. I can run a split formula again and you'll see that it returns the correctly formatted data. But what if you know several semicolons in a row signify that some data is missing? To adjust that, you can use the fourth parameter of the Google Sheets split function. I'll modify the formula adding true, so the default value for the third parameter I just discussed. The default value for the fourth parameter is also true, but I'll change it to false and I'll run the function. Now the output is different and the empty spaces in between semicolons resulted in empty cells in the output. When you split data to multiple rows using the split function, you must ensure sufficient space for the function output. 
If there are not enough rows in a spreadsheet, or at least one cell is blocked by existing data, you'll see an error. The information appeared in the spreadsheet about Kate's country of origin, Australia. I'll run the same split formula again, and here you go, a ref error as expected. It seems my formula was not expanded because it would overwrite the data in cell F3. To fix that, I can do two things. OK, three. I can also delete that data about Australia, but you know, I kind of need it for my analysis. Instead, I could run the split formula again and tell it not to return empty cells after all. Or I could split cells horizontally in Google Sheets by choosing the Split Text to Columns option from the menu. Pick a delimiter or let Google Sheets detect it for you. And here you go. The data was split again, and this time it overrode the value in cell F3. This operation also removed the problematic string, and the output starts one cell earlier than was the case for the split formula. OK, let's go back and delete this problematic formula. If you want to split data into multiple cells at once, you could, of course, extend the formula. However, if you were to change something, you would need to update the formula repeatedly and stretch it onto potentially thousands of rows. A far more feasible approach is to insert a range to the Google Sheets split function. Here, it would be A2 to A6. I run it and nothing changes. Why? To use a range as a parameter to the split function, you must wrap the formula in an array formula, and it will give me the results I need. One last thing I wanted to share in this tutorial is how to split Google Sheets into separate files. There are functions made for that, such as import range. However, if you frequently move data between different apps and spreadsheets, you may find a dedicated solution to be a far better option. Here, I use Coupler.io, a data automation and analytics platform used by thousands of businesses around the world. Coupler.io lets you automate data imports from dozens of apps on a schedule you choose. You can also sync data between different Google Sheets, find the file to fetch the data from, optionally specify the range, I'll fetch my columns B to E, I can see the preview of my data, and for example, apply filters or perform some calculations. Next, I can set up a schedule to refresh the data, for example, hourly. And finally, here's the data imported into another spreadsheet. Using Coupler.io, you can split your spreadsheets into multiple files, but also combine data from multiple sheets in a fully automated manner. You guessed it, we've got a tutorial on that as well. That's it, now you know how to split text in Google Sheets using the split function. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share the video with others, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.